A Memorial Day tradition returns to the West Lawn of the U.S. Capitol this Sunday. It is the 29th National Memorial Day concert on PBS. This year, the concert is paying special tribute to female veterans. And joining us live from Washington, D.C., is one of the hosts of the show, Tony Award winner Joe Montaigne, and Army Sergeant First Class Leanne Hester. Leanne served tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. She is the first woman awarded the Silver Star for Valor in combat. Great to see both of you. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Thanks Thank for you. joining both of us. Leanne, let, let's start with you. You are a true military hero, and that is what this weekend is all about. Tell us a little bit about your story. When did you enlist in the Army, and, and why did you join the military? So I enlisted in the, the Army back in 2001. Um, in April of 2001. I shipped off to basic training in October, and in between uh, those two dates, uh, September 11th happened. Um, I joined the military. Uh, I have my, my uncle and my grandfather were both uh, veterans. My uncle was uh, in Vietnam. My grandfather served in World War II. And, uh, you know, being, being a me uh, member of the Army, that's just something I, I wanted to do since, since I was little. Um, I always looked up to those that wore the uniform, especially um, women who wore the uniform. And it's always sparked an interest to me. And, and so that's, that's what I did. Tell us about the Silver Star. What happened to, with you in combat? So back in uh, 2005, we were outside of Baghdad, Iraq. I was with the 617th uh, Military Police Company out of Kentucky. Um, my squad uh, at the time of military police officers and a medic, we were involved in one of the biggest firefights since the Battle of Fallujah. Uh, at the point with, we uh, came out uh, with uh, approximately 40 um, KIA uh, enemy and several wounded. Um, we did not have any uh, U.S. casualties or coalition cal casualties. And um, that for my actions during that, that firefight, um, I received the uh, Silver Star. That is amazing. Joe, tell us a little bit about this year's concert. It must be such an honor to be co-hosting once again. It always is. This is my 17th year doing it, and, 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 and every year it's different, and every year it's familiar, and every year it's, 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 it's moving. It's, t it's, it's, it's hard to explain. That's why I encourage people to just carve out 90 minutes out of your Memorial Day weekend, it just and you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about. It was cross section of, of dramatic readings of music, of, of of footage, speeches, things that just help you understand why this holiday is so important. And uh, and as I often say, it's 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 the holiday that allows us to have all the other holidays. I mean, even to, to term it as a holiday is, is almost a misnomer because it's a day of remembrance. It's a day of, of, of thankfulness, of, of being able to say, because of you, because of the sacrifices you, meaning the men and women of our military, over the course of our history, we're allowed to have barbecues and celebrate not just this holiday, but the 4th of July and Christmas and Easter and Labor Day and you name it. So without your sacrifices, we don't have the United States of America. I think I think you're right. Put down the hot dog for for 90 minutes on Sunday and, and realize what this holiday is truly all about. Exactly. Leanne, thank you so much for your service. Thanks so much for joining us, both of you. Happy Memorial Day. Thank Thanks. you. And the National Memorial Day concert airs live from the West Lawn of the U.S. Capitol this Sunday, the night before Memorial Day, 7 p.m. on Wisconsin Public Television. When we come back, what happens when...